Hi, Gigi from the RBA. This video is part of our series on monetary policy. In this video, we're going to talk about interest rates. But first, where are we up to with our monetary policy series? So next up, we're going to talk about the tools that the RBA uses to influence various interest rates in the economy. Explaining this will span the next few videos, so I'll give you a quick preview of what we're going to cover. So before we talk about monetary policy tools, first we need to learn about interest rates. Then we'll talk about the different monetary policy tools that the RBA uses to influence interest rates. First we cover the cash rate target, which for the past 30 years or so has been the main tool used by the RBA. For this reason we call it a conventional tool. Other videos cover other tools, sometimes referred to as unconventional tools. These were introduced in Australia in March 2020 in response to the economic effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. So on to interest rates. If you recall from our introduction to monetary policy video, interest rates measure the cost of spending our money today. So if we're spending money that we could have saved, interest rates measure the lost opportunity to earn interest on those savings. If instead we're spending money we have borrowed, the interest rate measures the cost of borrowing that money. So if interest rates are lower, the cost of spending money today is lower. It is less attractive to save money, and it's cheaper to borrow it. This makes us more likely to spend our money today, rather than later on. So in Australia and around the world, there are many, many different interest rates that you'll see reported in the news. We can simplify things by putting them into groups. So one grouping is based on the type of decisions interest rates influence us to make around saving, borrowing and spending money. It also matters who is doing the saving, borrowing and spending. Different agents in the economy, so households, businesses and governments, all face different interest rates when they choose to save or borrow for a variety of reasons. A further element of interest rates is time. When agents use, choose to save or borrow, they can decide to lock in their interest rate for a period of time, three months, one year, 10 years, and, or sometimes even longer. We call these interest rates fixed. Other interest rates change every day, or at least they can change every day. We call these interest rates variable. Another way to think about this is that variable interest rates are short term, because they can change every day. On the other hand, fixed interest rates are longer term, because they don't change after they're set until they expire. This is the framework that we'll use to think about interest rates. Type of decision, agent and time. Let's have a few examples to help us understand this framework better. So say you put some money into a regular savings account at the bank. The bank pays you an interest rate on this savings. The bank can change your interest rate whenever it likes, though it has to tell you if it does this and you can take the money out whenever you like without paying a penalty. This example represents a household making a decision to save at a variable interest rate. Or you could be a business that delivers parcels. You decide to hire an extra person to expand, but you need another delivery van for that person to use. You might decide to borrow the money to pay for the van from the bank at a fixed interest rate for three years. You choose a fixed interest rate so you know with certainty the size of your loan repayments. This is a business making a decision to borrow at a fixed interest rate. So now that we've talked about interest rates, let's start to think about monetary policy tools. The RBA has a toolbox that it uses to meet its monetary policy objectives. The toolbox contains a number of tools that are used to influence interest rates. One example of a monetary policy tool is the RBA's target for the cash rate. The tools the RBA chooses to use will depend on the circumstances, including which interest rates in the economy the RBA desires to influence, other important objectives such as supporting the flow of credit to the economy, and the benefits and costs of different tools. Sometimes one tool may be preferable to another. Many of the tools that the RBA has used recently in response to the COVID-19 pandemic have come into focus because the main tool of monetary policy, the target for the cash rate, could not be used in the same way as the past. Although different monetary policy tools work in different ways, remember that as we look at each of them in the coming videos, they all share the same key objective to influence the different interest rates that households, businesses and governments face when they make decisions about saving, borrowing and spending in the Australian economy. So that's all for this video. Next in this series, we'll look at conventional monetary policy tools, so the target for the cash rate. See you next time.